All right, mate, how you doing? My name's Spencer, and for the next 30 days, I'll be playing in or going to a different football game every day. I'm doing this to raise some much needed funds and awareness for the Movember Foundation, whose mission is to stop men from dying too young. Join me as I travel across the UK, meeting and playing with you guys along the way. This is 30 Games in 30 Days. Welcome to Sunday League. Okay, another day in the uh, 30 Games 30 Days Challenge. First one, 11 aside. Looking forward to that. Got the boys in here. Hashtag Sunday League team. Bit annoyed right now because we had three dropouts on the day of the game. Which means we've got one sub. It's a quarter final of a cup. And I've got some challenges that we'll talk about later that I need to try and achieve to get some money. Okay, obviously we've got the Mark Noble challenge currently in progress, which is I've got to try and get 100% pass completion in one half of football, trying at least 20 passes, which may or may not be today, to be honest. Uh, I'll try. But Cesar Azpilicueta, Chelsea player, friend of the club, has also thrown a challenge in the mix. Let's take a look. Hey, Spencer. Great work you are doing with 30 games in 30 days for November. Uh, I'm going to challenge you, and if you score or assist one goal in a 11 aside game, I will donate a thousand pounds for a charity. Good luck. So Cesar has told me I need to get a goal or an assist in an 11 aside game. Today could be the day. We're, we're undernumbered a little bit. We're missing a few key players, but got to go for it, haven't I? So two challenges on the table, we'll see what we can do. Join the warm up when you're ready, boys. No excuses today. Don't care about the three boys that haven't turned up. It's about the boys that are here. All of us are good enough. It won't be an easy ride. No game this season will be an easy ride because everyone wants to beat us. We've got to put it to bed early with these boys. Don't give them a chance to get some little late goal and get to, to extra time, right? We up for it? Come on, boy! Come on, boy! Oh, come on, Semi-final boys, we're in the semi-finals now. Yeah. Yeah. When I kicked around those guys twice in about a minute, I was like, I can't go back. My legs have stopped. Three games in four days. It's taking its toll. Didn't get a goal assist or 100% pass completion though, so the challenge uh, goes on. Right, time for another game tonight. It's Chelmsford City versus Chippenham in the National League South. Uh, I've come home before kickoff though, I'm going to watch that, but I'm actually at my parents' house where I grew up. Uh, not a million miles away from Chelmsford. You may also notice that I've got a cheeky tash. The beard is gone. Right guys, it's time to start shaving. Shout out to Gillette, who sent me this special edition Movember Foundation a razor and blade, which I'm gonna use now. There we go. The tash is back, the beard is gone. Still needs a bit of work, but Movember is in action. I've come somewhere, there's another man who's very famous for having a tash for much of his life. My dad, Stevie CB, as you know, super physio for hashtag. He's gonna take a little look at me. I've played three games in the last four days. I've got a few more coming up this week. 
I need to make sure the legs particularly in order are not going to give way on me before the Wembley Cup. So he's going to give me a little MOT. I sound like dial up internet. <laughs> Anything you get problems with your knees, it's going to be muscle weak. Basically, I skip leg day is what you're saying. Ah, I feel like a new woman. That was fantastic. Thank you very much, Father. Best physio in the East Anglia era, top 15. Let me show you something. So this is a picture of our old under-18s team. A few familiar faces in there, not just me, uh, my dad, who is manager, Seb as well, my bro other brother, not Saunders behind the camera. But also you've got Michael Wood, Woody from Hashtag. You've got James Stevens from Hashtag. Um, Faisal Manager Dog Manager from Hashtag. But what's actually quite poignant and quite sad is that two of the lads in this um, team have died. Um, one of them, Joe Surtees, died a couple of years after this, really. He was about 22 years old and he developed leukaemia. And then a couple of years later, after that, we lost uh, Daniel Chalangari, who's our goalkeeper. So another example of men dying too young. That's why we're here to stop that happening. Now's the time to donate, guys. You might have lost some friends over the years or even family members to some of the stuff that Movember work on. So I appreciate any donations you can give. Okay guys, nearly time to kick off here. Chelmsford City playing Chippenham tonight. It's 11 versus 12 in the National League uh, South, which is step two of non-league. Uh, four divisions above Hashtag United. It's the sixth division of English football. And uh, it's a mid-table clash, I think, yeah, 11th versus 12th. So whoever wins this could climb quite high up the table. Chelmsford City is one of the lo most local teams to where I live in Essex. And in terms of ticket prices, I can tell you it was £15. It's 5th of November tonight as well, it's bonfire night. So you might see some fireworks on and off the pitch. Huh? You like that? It's decent. Well, what I like about high-level non-league football, you can come right next to the pitch like this, and you can still hear everything they're saying, because there is a decent crowd here, but there's a running track, so there's a lot of boys either side of the pitch. We've come here, so I can hear what the players are saying to each other. I find it really interesting. They're decent players. Half time, 1 0 to Chelmsford. They scored on the stroke of the break, 45th minute. They deserve it though, they've had a few good chances in the half. Decent Monday night, that. A big result for Chelmsford in the end, getting the 1 0 win against Chippenham. They'll go right up the table with that, and I've uh, thoroughly enjoyed it, to be honest. A little bit cold, obviously, but great to come and see, not only because it's a local club, but as I said, these are four divisions above Hashtag United, and it's maybe a division that who knows, one day Hashtag United could aspire to try and get to National League, and uh, it would take a lot of work to get there, of course. Watching the game tonight, you really see the pace of the game, how much quicker it is. Tomorrow, I'm playing football again, locally. Indoor, I'm going to get some goals, depending on right now. Okay, day number 11, more indoor football. A little bit different to last week in Twickenham though. Firstly because this is a game I play quite regularly with these boys, quite near, near my house. We don't play sort of futsal rules, no overhead height, so the ball will stay on the deck. And yeah, I know these guys a little bit better than the lads in Twickenham, so I play it quite often. So it's a good group of lads. We get together quite often on Tuesdays. I love it, it's going to get sweaty. Hopefully there'll be some goals. Let's play.
end of the session. Decent workout again, very hot, very sweaty. Loved that. Uh, thanks to the boys for having me down. Tomorrow, we're off to Manchester. Right guys, day number 12 in our 30 games in 30 days. We come up to Manchester for Manchester City versus Shakhtar Donetsk in the Champions League. First time watching European football on our 30 games 30 days adventure. Massive thanks to Man City and EA Sports for inviting us here. Four of us here today, as well as me and Sonny Dornley. We've got two of Hashtag's finest FIFA eSports players. I say two, we've lost one of them. Hashtag Harry's gone for a haircut, we can't find it. Where are you, little muck? We have got Hashtag Shory though. Man City, Shakhtar Donetsk, who's going to win? Let's go with Man City, obviously. Man City, big favourites tonight. We're expecting them to do bits. And uh, also, did you know, not only have Man City and EA Sports given us four tickets this game, they've also given us hospitality tickets. So we should be able to enjoy some nice food before match. We're going to have some. Let's get it. Let's eat some. The tech is guru. Yes. In Manchester. I mean, do I need to ask you who you think is going to win tonight? I think Man City will uh, dominate. They're, they're good in Europe. Uh, just got news though. Guero's not starting. Guero's not starting. So, that's a bit of a bummer. Um, Probably but, Gabriel Jesus instead. Yeah, he's starting. But I still think they'll dominate. I still think they'll win maybe three. <laughs> going 3 0. He's giving us a full on prediction. While we're here, he's saying 3 0. <laughs> I'm going to say 2 1 to City. Alex? 4 0. 4 0. Decent. That'd be, that'd be, I quite enjoy that. That's a lot of goals. <laughs> Turned up. Is that his haircut? Hashtag Harry, how are you? Um, I'm alright, mate. And I think, as you can see, still needs finishing. What, what are you looking for for this game? I don't know if I've ever seen a Gladiola scene play live, so I'm interested in the more off the ball things, like what right backs do when, when they've got the ball on the left, etc. You know what I mean? I'm really interested in that sort of thing. Watching a Guardiola team live is a privilege and a pleasure. Squad <laughs> gates have opened. David Silva with the goal, Riyad Mahrez. Sublime from you, son. Great assist. Penalty for Man City. Sterling's been fouled. Oh, Stutter. Time. City very much in control. Shout out to City for having free Wi-Fi because it's enabled us to go on Twitter and see the Raheem Sterling penalty, which by the way was never a penalty. Raheem Sterling just fell over his own feet and he got the pen. So it's a bit luck there for City, but they deserve their lead and I think they'll win this game. Don't you? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I mean, I think I know your ear better than the back of my hand. No, no, we've done his face that way all game. <laughs> it's been very much traffic in one direction. Penalty for City. I thought it looked like a great tackle to be honest. Shaq to getting a little bit unlucky with these penalties, I think. Zeus for his second of the game. 4 0. Good penalty. 5 0 to Manchester City now. Riyad Mahrez with the goal on his weak foot. Very impressive. Um, I'd say maybe Mahrez for man of the match. Definitely one of the few standout performers. For Gabriel Jesus, 6 0 for Manchester City. This game was over in the first half, it's definitely over now. Right guys, that concludes another 30 Games of 30 Days episode. Massive thanks to Man City and EA Sports for sorting us out with the tickets. Also, thank you to Man City for giving me this kit, which is one of my favourite Man City kits I've seen actually, this purple number. Wait till you see on the back though. Owen, 30. For 30 games, 30 days. So if any of you want me to sign this and um, auction it off, let me know in the comments below and we'll do it at the end of the month perhaps when we've raised some more money. Speaking of money, let's take a look at the totaliser. How much have we got so far in 30 games, 30 days? As you can see, we are very close to 29,000, even getting close to 30k as well. That's what we want to do. 
get 30, then maybe even to 40, guys. Come on, we've got to do this for men's health, suicide prevention, mental health, testicular cancer, prostate cancer, all the issues that November Foundation are working hard to stop men dying young from. So I appreciate all the help you can give. There's a link in the description which you can donate at, and uh, every little helps, guys. Uh, drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. I'll see you next time. We've got a lot more games to go to, a lot more games to play in. Staying in Manchester tonight for another pickup game tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Don't go changing.